How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. Before we start, I know I got a couple things I need to explain. First of all, why the hell haven't I been uploading any videos for months now? Uh, so after graduation, actually, uh, life took a turn, and not in a bad way, and actually in a very good way, uh, which explains why I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada right now. So after graduation, I pretty much had to get my life uh, straight away before I had to make my move here in Las Vegas. So a lot of priorities just took over, um, like, you know, Let's try that again. Uh, so, pretty much after graduation, I packed up my life in Chicago and moved here um, maybe like three months ago, four months ago now, and I had to fix my life here, and that is not an easy task as a 23-year-old, but right now, I have my own place to myself, uh, financially stable, and I am beyond blessed to be having uh, this type of setup at the age of 23. And yeah, so I have started my career with the United States Air Force, which I'll be talking a lot about in my vlogs, but uh, this vlog is not going to be uh, oriented around the military. It's going to be about my experiences here in Las Vegas and my travels and where the military brings me in those travels. And occasionally I will talk about the military. I'll dedicate some time to answer questions about how to join, how to become an officer, what it's like to be an officer. But I don't want to essentially, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to make this vlog about me being an officer in the military. Rather that uh, this vlog is going to be about you know the adventures the military uh, brings me. If that makes any sense. But yeah, uh, so today I will be going down to the Strip and Fremont here in Las Vegas to show you guys around. Uh, I've been doing a lot of discovering and exploring here in Las Vegas. It is such a wild city. It is so different from Chicago and I can't wait to show you guys uh, my new city and it's gonna be great. So again, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading any new videos this uh, last couple, last handful of months, but we are back and we are back and we are back and we are back and we are back. So contrary to popular belief, uh, people always think that it's always going to be warm and sunny here in Las Vegas, dry weather, uh, no winters, but winter actually does exist here in Vegas. Uh, the sun sets right now at around 4.30 p.m., by the time that it's 5 p.m., it's pretty much completely all dark. Uh, the coldest you can get here is like maybe when you wake up, when I wake up in the morning for work, um, 37 degrees but by the time you know it's noon you're like 60 degrees 64 something like that so uh, coming from someone that's from Chicago that's fine I can, I'll take that I'll take what I can get here um, yeah because in Chicago sub-zero sub-zero weather blizzards it's, it's miserable this time around uh, you know this time of year so uh, yeah, I'll take what I can get here in Las Vegas. All right, guys. So we made it out to the Strip. Here with the Siri, the man himself, <laughs> buddy from college. Uh, yeah, so we're out on the Strip. It's kind of chilly right now, and I kind of regret not bringing my coat because I left it in the car. But I think we'll be right. Wow. All right, you see that? It's like a meme. It's whenever, whenever someone asks me who I think I am, that's me being crowned by an angel. Put some respect on that name. All right, so we're about to hit up the canal in the Venetian. Let's see what this is all about. Welcome to Las Vegas. So we've reached like the main plaza of the Venetian. And it's like outrageous how absurd some things are here. Like the detail, but like the actual shops around this hotel is wild. You never see anything like this in Chicago. Thank you. 
on the strip. Everything's bright as shit here. Oh my god. And there's like people soliciting us for strip clubs. Like literally they'll pass you a pamphlet. They're like, hey. And it's funny because all these different strip clubs were voted the number one strip club in Las Vegas. And it gets me wondering, you know, who is the authority on these? On this? Who is the authority of strip clubs? And what makes this strip club better than this one? Is there like, is there like an association? Is there like a board of execs of like strip clubs? So Siri brought up a good point. Uh, in and out Burger. I am very unimpressed with it. Coming from Chicago and being used to Portillo's, when I first tasted in and out my expectations were so high, but the delivery was... Oh my god. You guys, Las Vegas needs to step up to Chicago in terms of like, comfort food. It's the Fountain Show and they're playing Bull RA. <laughs> oh my god. It actually smells like that or no, they're trying to make it yeah. I know it's dark guys but uh, those are live flamingos can confirm actually here I'll take a picture all right so I know it's dark guys but uh we made it out to the garden chapel here in the flamingo casino oh they took the chairs away Okay, so that gazebo over there, usually people get married there. And this building behind me, it's literally a wedding chapel. And I was talking to Siri earlier about this, but uh, so I'm a young officer. I need to get a dependent like soon or else I'll start owing taxes. So mom, if you're watching this video, if I get married randomly one weekend, just know I'm doing it for the money. I'm doing it for us. I'm doing it for us, truly. I don't know if that Asian lady knows she just took a picture in front of that. Alright, so now we are in front of Gordon. Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen and I told Siri I'll only go in there if Gordon Ramsay's in there himself yelling at everyone otherwise it's just it's not the same so we're heading back to the car we're gonna link up with my two buddies uh, from the Air Force in 
Fremont Street. And Fremont Street is going to be too many other eventful place to go to. It's even weirder than this. It's even weirder than this trail, let me tell you. Look at these tourists! Are you a fucking tourist? <laughs> Say hi to the vlog, oh, the fella! <laughs> And here we are. Right. This place is called the Bin, Bin 702. And it is surprisingly cheap for like a bar in Vegas. Look at that, for a beer, like five bucks for Corona? That's not bad at all. Chicago, it's like eight bucks for a bottle. Like, we're way good here. Look at this young buck. Young buck, Cadet the Bellin. I learned that you guys are all conditioning. I was like, that was like, When you invite them over to that place and chill, knowing damn well you don't have Netflix. Is that you, Grandma? When you find a dildo in your mom's sock drawer. Is that you, Grandma? When you finally find Bigfoot after 25 minutes. Is that you, Grandma? Is this a piece of love? When someone asks you if you voted for Donald Trump. That's probably you, Grandma. <laughs> it's between these two. I like this one. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I gotta go with this one. Oh, nice, it's me! <laughs> I know you take this. It's me and my grandma. <laughs> Out here in the container park, this place is dope as hell. So if you ever find yourself in uh, Fremont Street, walk a little bit farther down and you'll find yourself in the container park. Worth a visit. Cheap bars, good vibes. And I think they're about to come up with live music right now, so uh, only check this out. I see you recording, Victor. So we ended up on the rooftop, compliments of Victor. I'm not gonna cause, jump. Cause he knows, they do a flip. <laughs> cause he knows people. This is lit. DJ and shit, no one's dancing. <laughs> Vegas. This is one last thing I want you guys to see. Oh my god, it's another one with our tits out. Is anyone else dragging this? No! <laughs> this is happening. There was a nun with her tits out. She's like right there. Look at these titties. <laughs> titties. I will give you $5 if you walk up and ask her to vote or not. I didn't know it was over. Take care of you.